Hello and welcome. Welcome to CPR's Clubhouse Live. My name is CPR Jose Ortiz, and I'm being joined by the future of freestyle. We have Lily Rose and Juliana Lee. Ladies, how are you? We're Hi, good. Hi, I'm good. Yes, it's been an interesting few weeks. Um, you know, we had our first interview with you on FM Radio um, at the beginning of the month of February, February 2nd. And two weeks later, and you guys are trending, uh, trending to the point where uh, you guys have been seen by at least a million people. Um, how does that feel? <laughs> um, I think it's like really weird because I don't know. I, I don't even know that many people. I know like five people in my whole life. So, <laughs> yeah. Just what about you, crazy. Juliana? I thought it was just like so crazy to see like so many people like commenting too, like such positive things. But it was just so crazy to see such a big like fan group, I guess. And it was awesome. Something I've never experienced before. A week after you did the interview with me on FM Radio, you guys are doing your first show and they recorded it. They're uploading uh, parts of that uh, show to the internet. And the thing about it is, right, like there were many people performing that night, but it was you both that really stuck to the audience. They got to see that little piece of video. And just for me alone, by putting a piece of you performing, I have 20,000 people and I put the video up just yesterday. Um, so, um, uh, Willie Valentine has 45 to 46,000 on his page. And then, you know, a, a combined of like 1 million uh, uh, impressions on social media. And I'm like, man, you're trending, right? Because it's something that um, you're new, you're fresh. People are, are, are taking uh, your, your uh, names and they're writing them down. They're writing down the title of the song. They can't wait to purchase a song. And so we want to talk about that. Uh, the fact that uh, you had your first show. How did you feel doing your first show? I thought it was such a great experience. And seeing so many people there to come see us as, um, along with a lot of other great artists. I thought that was really special because, you know, like it's hard getting like a following and for such um, like a hard industry to get into like it could be really hard and like especially with um like difficult people to like expressing their opinions it can be really hard but i thought it was great to see so many people loving it and supporting us Buzz is amazing. You guys are trending on social media. Over 1 million uh, of impressions that you've made. A lot of comments. How does it feel right now? It's only been two weeks since I last spoke to you. Um, It's really crazy. You know, there's a lot of people that have been sharing the video and a lot of people seeing the video and are giving a lot of support, which I really appreciate. You yeah. guys sounded vocally perfect. That's what I call you guys. Uh, because you guys sound like you guys have been practicing forever and they don't understand that you guys know each other, that you guys co-wrote the song, that you guys put a lot of work into the song. So when you went on stage for the first time and did the, the first performance of it, you guys looked so professional and like veterans. Um, how did it feel to blend your voices together like that and for the crowd to react the way that they have? 
Um, it felt really great to see so many people supporting us. And um, we were both really, really nervous at first because performing in front of that many people for the first time for a song that we did, like, I think that was really, really nerve wracking for both of us. But when we got out there, I feel like I could speak for the both of us that we felt very comfortable. We felt very, um, like, supported. And I thought that was a great thing. Well, talk about being supported. Lily Rose, um, you know, you're not new to performing, but this is something totally different. You guys collectively um, have been called the future of freestyle. People are, are, are tagging their friends, Kelly Clarkson, Jennifer Lopez. They're trying to really get you out there, one million impressions. Um, and again, I just spoke to you on February 2nd on our FM radio show. And then a week later, you had your first uh, performance at your father's birthday bash. And then... Boom, here we go. Uh, February 16th, the release of uh, your brand new song. How does it feel to, to have all this so fast? It's really crazy. I, I was, really wasn't expecting all of these people to like have these reactions or even see the song. I was I, like, I expected people, but not that many. Yeah. What about you, Juliana? Um, I agree. I thought we were like kind of more doing this for fun and, you know, just writing a song like, oh, it'd be so cool. But now like we like went pretty popular um, in this, um, you know, section. And it's really crazy to see so many people like being so nice and so supportive, especially in comment sections. And I think that is a great thing. Yeah. And, and it, it's a, a thing where we've always talked about having younger folks uh, you know, 16 and 15, respectively, um, sing this music. And now we have you guys get together and do this. And now everyone's like, yes, you're bringing me back. You have people of all ages celebrating you. Has it has it changed for you at school or people are not really aware right now? Um, yeah, I'd say it changed a little bit. Like we invited some of our friends to come see the show and they're really supportive. And, you know, everybody's not treating us differently, but they're really nice about it. And they've been giving us a lot of support. Excellent. What about you, Juliana? Any different? Um, well, I think more people are starting to know now. Some people saw the video and like texted us privately and was like, whoa, this is crazy. And we did tell some people at school and they love it. And they think this is awesome and a great opportunity for us. So it's really nice to have some of our friends and, you know, family and to even teachers um, supporting us the way that they are. Uh, again, I, I put this video up on my TikTok and I, I got 20,000 uh, views wow. so far, all positive reviews. Uh, some people were like, oh, they don't belong in the club. I'm like, it's the father's birthday, for goodness sake. And um, Willie Valentine put his uh, his clip up of, of your performance, 45,000. Um, everyone is sharing. Um, right now, your number one pre-order for iTunes Dance. Um, how does it feel to be number one pre-order even before the song comes out? It's insane. And like, we were, I think, number three for a little bit. And even that was great. Like, that's great for like a new song and stuff. And to see us at number one, like surpassing other people, like, um, like, I think that's crazy. And like, those other people are wonderful. And I bet they're amazing. And just to see like our song like there, and we've been working on it for some time now, like, it's just crazy. Lily, um, did you ever think that uh, just your first try with 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 uh, your your best friend doing a song that it was going to be this popular? No, it's it's really absolutely crazy, and I'm really I really appreciate the the support we've been getting and the fact that this we've gotten this opportunity to do this together. Yeah, um, again, I, I I think that you guys were vocally perfect. Your your voices blended together so well mm -hmm. when you guys did it live. Um, I was so, so uh, proud. I'm sure your parents were proud. Um, is it different in the household now? Do they, do they give you a little more leeway now? Or is it still the same? No, no, no. leeway. No leeway. <laughs> you get to go to sleep a little later. You know, I'm trending on TikTok. I, you know, I should go to sleep whenever I want. Nothing like that? No. Nothing like that. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Now, now, that, now that you have this positive response, I've been told that um, there's been a lot of interest from either the veterans of this music and also booking you for shows, do you guys want to perform at these places? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I've heard Texas. I've heard that um, 
Dream Girl Cynthia was interested in you guys. Um, like I said, some people are tagging and, and, and sending uh, messages to Kelly Clarkson, Jennifer Lopez. Um, you know, it's, it's really cool because Jennifer Lopez is a big fan of freestyle. And so, um, I mean, did you really, really think that this is going to be the way that it would be for your first song? Yeah. Not at all. No. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's an amazing experience. Uh, me uh, being uh, the first people to, uh, person to interview you and now getting to do a video interview with you guys. So people could get to know you a little bit. And um, now now that you've got a little taste, right, of the first performance, um, would you be doing other things differently? Would you be choreographing some type of dance? Or are you gonna guys gonna command the stage or any any new preparation that you're making for your next performance? Um, I think maybe a little bit, maybe a, a little bit more stage presence. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I love the fact that when you guys were both together, you were singing to each other. When you guys uh, blend your voices in the song, I like that. And, you know, you guys don't even have to dance. One person sings on the right, one person sings on the left. And then when you guys come together vocally, you come to the middle, you you play around with the crowd. I mean, it's four minutes, but you guys can do it. I mean, you guys are professionals. Very, very much professionals. Um, so um, did they give you like an increase on your... Um, on your pay when it comes to, you know, your, your, um, your weekly allowance, anything like that? No, I don't even have a weekly allowance. Give it, give it two more weeks. <laughs> give it two more weeks. Well, you got, you know, you guys got Sephora and Ulta. I mean, I have to deal with that here every day. So I'm sure you guys are having your, um, what is it? The, the, your facial like cleansers and the, the skin routine that people have now. I don't have one yet, but I'm sure I will. Uh, now, the song is uh, being released on February 16th. Uh, we're recording this on February 15th. We're only a few hours away from the release. What? How would you feel if your song was number one on the dance charts? Really, really happy and like really, really shocked. <laughs> well, you, you, it looks like that's the way it's going to be. I mean, the pre-order, you're already number one on the pre-order. So... There are so many people that have commented on social media. I can't wait to purchase this. I can't wait to get the digital release. Um, and I see that a lot. And then artisticrecordings.com is going old school. Now it's old school, right? They're putting out the CDs. So, um, you know, the, people can buy, buy it on CD. I already got mine uh, on order on artisticrecordings.com. And so um, are you going to be signing autographs, you guys, sometime soon? Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys signed any at all? You guys already did it on the first show? Yeah. I do. Yeah, we did a little of them. Yeah. yeah that's, that's great. That's great. Now, um, who do you think was cheering harder, uh, Juliana's family or Lily's family at the, at the concert? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, Cynthia, like, um, Lily's mom was, like, front row, and I thought that was great. My parents were more in the back, but mm -hmm. I can hear them cheering. I no, no, because because I could just I could I could distinguish the voices because you know Willie and Cynthia and I have been friends for a long time, so I can hear Willie and I can hear Cynthia. That's why <laughs> the question comes from there. Um, your your family came to the radio station and we had to make a Juliana Lee section because they brought the grandma, the little sis, the both parents. It was really it was really cool uh, to guy to have uh, you guys there uh, having a great time. Um, what are you looking forward in, in the future? You got performances, you got collaborations. Do you guys want to keep doing this together? Yeah, yeah I think it's really great. And I think so having like a bond with um, one of my closest people in my life, I think it's really, really special. And it's great to be doing it with somebody else. It could be really hard doing something by yourself, but having um, a friend by your side, I think is a great thing to have. That's, that's really nice. I, I hope that you guys... We'll continue to uh, work together and, you know, get along like family, um, you know, having best friends. Sometimes, you know, you have your your odds and stuff like that because, you know, me and Willie, we argue all the time. He's like, I'm going to scratch your hair and I don't, I don't have any hair. And, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, um, so, you know, we, we, we have had our differences before, but I, I really hope that this bonds you more and gets you closer and, and you guys can plan out your next song, your next event. I know, again... I've been hearing that you guys want to, um, they want you to come to Texas. They want you to perform with Cynthia. They want you to perform with Legends and all these big shows. And I hope that you guys get to 
get your uh, brush with fame. And I hope that Kelly Carson calls you and Jennifer Lopez uh, answers my tweet. You know, all that good stuff. I hope that all happens for you. And I and I want you guys to be number one on the iTunes dance charts on Amazon Music. Um, and I can't wait to see what else is coming your way. I did make a suggestion for your next song. I hope your father listens to me. Um, it's a song that I think you guys can bring um, a, a new energy to. It's it's an older song. It's older than both of you combined. Um, but uh, it's a it's a beautiful song. If you ever guys if you guys ever get to listen to it, it's called "Loving You" by Solid. And uh, you guys, when I heard you guys together doing your voice and, and blending them together, you sounded just like a version of that song. And I think that you guys would do a great job for 2024 and beyond. So, Willie, solid, loving you. Juliana Lee, Lily Rose. Watch it. Why'd you come in the camera? No. <laughs> no. See, I heard him. See? There I heard is. Him. <laughs> I'm making a request, sir. I'm making a request. Look, um, it's only been a few weeks. You you got your first interview on February 2nd, your first show on February 9th, February 16th is the release of your song. It's just getting started. You know, you guys, you know, get your 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 beauty regimen going, you know, get you know, get your dance routine going, get your stage presence going because you're going to be doing a lot more shows. Um is there anything that you guys would like to say uh before we end this this broadcast? Um, I just say to Juliana, I'm so, so proud of you. You did so good doing this, and you're going to go very far. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. I would like to say the same. I'm so proud of you every day, though. And I think you are <laughs> literally an all-star, and I think you are a triple threat, and you're amazing. <laughs> Aww, if, if, thank if, you. I get, if I get a, I love you more. No, no, I love you more. No, no, <laughs> I love you more. Here, I, I'm going to cut this off. Uh, would you like to thank anyone, Juliana? Um, I'd like to thank actually you for um, being one of our biggest supporters and having us um, now as a second time. I think it's great to see you supporting us. I'm um, truly excited for you guys. I really am. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> and, 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 you know, I want to thank you guys because you guys did drops for our radio station. And that's very exciting for me because now I could play your song and then play your voices on it as well. <laughs> So thank you so much. Um, anything else, Lily Rose, that you would like to say or share? Um, thank you to the fans for supporting us and to my mom and dad for helping us with this. And, yeah, and, and you guys, Lila. you know, um, you guys, you guys co-wrote, you co-arranged, co-produced the song. So you guys were in the studio with Willie Valentin, putting your input, telling him, hey, um, I can sing this better. We can sing this better. I, I like it this way. You were arranging things. And I want people to know, like, you guys are very musically sound. Um, Lily Rose teaches herself, um, you know, different uh, instruments. I won't say what they are because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, I don't want <laughs> I don't get calls later. Juliana Lee got some really nice vocals and, and she has some great timing. And uh, I was really impressed when you guys, again, came together in the song. And I want to hear uh, collective uh, songs from you. I want to hear individual songs from you. It's just again, we, we talk about the future of freestyle, and you know maybe we're we're labeling you a little too fast, you know what I mean, or or putting a lot of pressure on you. But it's just that we want to hear more from talented ladies like you. Um, you know, Juliana sixteen, uh, Lily is fifteen, and you know you guys got so much uh, music to give uh, for all of us to enjoy. So again, thank you so much for being part of CPR's Clubhouse Live. I just wanted to check in with you. Uh, we have the countdown. We have a few more hours until the song is released. And I'm sure it's going to be number one. I'm going to post it right here on this video. <laughs> and, uh, you know, again, congratulations. And I can't wait to see you in person, live, because uh, you know I, I can't wait to experience it myself, because uh, I want to be your number one fan. I might be in front with Cynthia. And she might be kicking me out of the front. <laughs> you know, we'll figure it out. Can't believe